Let us consider the question number 6. Let f be a twice differentiable function such that limit t approaching to x f x sin t minus f t sin x upon t minus x is equal to sin square x for x in the interval 0 to pi. If f pi by 6 is minus pi by 12, then which of the following statements is are true? So, options are about f pi by 4, some inequality, there exists some alpha such that f dash alpha is 0 and the second derivative of f at pi by 2 as well as the value. So, first we need the function. Given condition is limit t approaching to x f x sin t. So, let us write down limit t approaching to x f x sin t minus f t sin x divided by t minus x is equal to sin square x. Let us recheck this equation. This says f x sin t minus f t sin x upon t minus x, right. Now, applying L'Hopital rule to this equation, we can see f x cos t minus f dash t sin x under the limit x t approaching to x is equal to sin square x. Applying limit we get we can write for f dash x as dy by dx just to get it simplified. So, we have y cos x minus dy by dx into sin x is equal to sin square x, right. I have simply taken f x as y. This can be converted into the linear differential equation or this can also be solved simply by inspection method. We can write it as y cos x dx minus sin x dy is equal to sin square x dx. When we look at this side cos x dx that is d of sin x. So, it is y d of sin x minus sin x dy. This point is clear. Now, if I divide it by sin square x, I get it dx on the right hand side. I can read it minus d of y upon sin x is equal to dx. Integrating both sides, we have y upon sin x is equal to minus x plus c. This point is clear. Okay. Now, one condition is given in this question as f of pi by 6 is minus pi by 12. So, substitute this value f of pi by 6 is minus pi by 12. So, this gives us c is equal to 0 when we put x equals here pi by 6 we get the term cancelled out. So, c is 0 therefore, the function y is minus x sin x. Now, move to the options part. We obtained function f x as minus x sin x. For x equals pi by 4 clearly this value is positive, so it is not possible. Second one is about some inequality 
third one there exists one alpha such that f dash alpha is 0 just find out the derivative of this function this is f dash x is equal to minus x cos x plus sin x. Yes, this can clearly be 0 for some value of x say alpha in the interval 0 to pi. So, this option is correct. Fourth one, we need the second derivative, one more derivative of this function, differentiate it again, substitute, we observe this is also coming as 0. Now, the second one, f x is less than x 4 by 6 minus x square. Now, since we know that sin x is greater than x minus x cube upon 6 in the interval as given to me in this question particularly 0 to pi. So, we can take it here sin x is greater than x minus x cube by 6 multiplying both sides with minus x we have minus x sin x is less than minus x square plus x 4 by 6. Correct. Now, look at the option given to us in this question. It says f x is less than x 4 by 6 minus x square for all x in the interval 0 to pi, the same term as we obtained minus x sin x which is f x. Correct. So, f x is less than x 4 by 6 minus x square, meaning that this is the correct option. Therefore, we finally obtain answer for this question as option B, C and option D. So, this is clear. Now, moving to the next question. 